podcast is going to show you how to use Audacity to uh, make a podcast. So open Audacity up and you'll find you've got a window that looks like this. To do a podcast it's really important to have your script written beforehand. I'm going to read something from Dr. Seuss. So this is what we do. This is my new, my new blank canvas. I'm going to hit record, which is this button here, and then read from Dr. Seuss. At the far end of town where the grickle grass grows and the wind smells slow and sour when it blows, no birds ever sing except old crows, is the street of the lifted Lorax. So you can see this is now my uh, beautiful podcast, and if we wanted to listen to it, we could just push play. At the far end of town where the grickle grass grows and the wind smells slow and sour. Beautiful. Very cool. Now you can see here that there's a bit here where you know, I wasn't saying anything but it's still recorded. If you highlight it by just holding your mouse button down and highlight it so it goes to different grey and go delete, it will get rid of the, uh, the bit there and same with the end, I want to get rid of that there. Delete, which is cool. Now that is, you can save that and that could be your podcast. However, I'd like to put another track, an audio track, which kind of um, introduces the podcast. So what we want to do is we want to go File, Import, Audio. Now you can get a whole lot of free things from the net which are copyright free, which are just themes and things like that. I've made one up using uh, GarageBand, um, which is over here. So if I open that, it'll put it in just like that. Now if we push play now from the beginning, both tracks are going to be playing at the same time. So let's have a quick listen. Let's go back to the beginning and try that again. Okay, now that's pretty cool, but you can hear both at the same time. If I wanted to listen to just one of them, I could hit mute and it would mute out my voice and we could have the band or we could go the other way around we could mute out that one and we can have my voice. Now, the pain is this bit here is playing at the same time. I'd like to have a bit of an intro and then have this playing. I don't want all this music. So what I can do is I can just highlight that, take it to the end, just go delete, get rid of that. But if this now means that it's going to end very abruptly. So what I might do is I might uh, say grab from about here onwards and I'd like it to fade out. So go to effect, and these are all the different effects you can have, and I'm going to go fade out, and it will fade out that track there. Now, it still doesn't help us too much because this is the music track, this is my audio, and they still kind of start at the same time, so you're not going to be able to hear me speak. So I'm going to grab my bit, go edit, cut. It's taken mine, and now I'm going to place it by just moving the cursor to about about there, I think, because that means it's going to come in just as that's starting to fade. Go edit, paste, and now I've got me speaking as the music's playing, which is pretty cool. Now, let's see what that sounds like. Go back to our beginning. <laughs> Far end of town where the grickle grass grows and the wind smells lovely. Now, at the end of the podcast, it's also good to have music. So I'm going to highlight my section here, edit, copy, and grab stick it here. So it comes in maybe just as I finish speaking, which would be about there. Go edit, paste. Now it's going to come in really loud and I'm still speaking. So what I'd like to do is I'm just going to select about oh, that much. So as I'm fading down, I'm going to get it to fade in. I'll fade in. So I'll go to Effect, Fade In, and it goes like that. That looks pretty cool. So if we go back to the beginning and go Play. At the far end of town where the grickle grass grows and the wind smells slow and sour when it blows, no birds ever sing except old crows is the street of the lifted Lorax. So there you go, there's a 23 second uh, podcast. So now you can save it. So you save project, put it in a uh, folder which you know, and it saves it as a Audacity project file. It's probably good to save it like this because you can come back and edit it. So go OK, and I'm going to put it in... 
uh, podcast 1a. Cool. Save it. Very cool. The problem is it will only play using Audacity. So it might be worth exporting it to another kind of format. So if I go to export, it will save it as the same thing, put it in the same folder. Um, and it's got all these different ways you can save it. You can save it as an MP3 or an MP4. Um, all these ones down here, which are pretty cool. I'm going to stick it as an Apple one, so then I can play it on iTunes. And I can also then actually load this onto um, the iTunes site, and people can download it from there if they want to. And goodness knows why they'd want to. So go save. It'll give you all the metadata that's here, which means that if people are searching for it, they'll be able to find some things. So you can put some key words in here if you want. Go OK. It tells you that it's going to make it into a stereo file rather than all these different tracks. Go OK again, and it's done it. So that is how you actually do a um, podcast.